Good morning, friends. Sometimes when the soul feels heavy or weary, the best thing to do is to get out in nature, barefoot and with no plan. This summer, we have made it a priority to explore the surrounding areas of the home we recently moved into. And we've thoroughly enjoyed all the beautiful spots the Lord has led us to. Reliving the wonder and beauty of nature through my son's eyes has been healing and wonderful all at the same time. The animals, insects, and birds have been our teachers this summer. The ants teach us lessons of patient industry, of perseverance in surmounting obstacles, and of providence for the future. And the birds are teachers of the sweet lesson of trust. Our Heavenly Father provides for them, but they must gather the food, they must build their nests and rear their young. He sends the springs to run among the hills, where the birds have their habitation, and sing among the branches. All the creatures of the woods and hills are a part of his great household. He opens his hand and satisfies the desire of every living thing. You may be surrounded by darkness, difficulties, discouragement, falsehood or injustice. It may feel like there are clouds that are impossible to dispel. You may be battling with some circumstances in vain. But friends, remember that the mists and fogs cling to the earth, but beyond the clouds, God's light is shining. Into the sunlight of his presence we may rise on the wings of faith. I pray blessings over you and your household. Thank you for stopping by, and till next time. <laughs>